Okay, uh, welcome to Sembed and the Sunfire experience. What we're going to do is share with you today an angle as to how to create liquids. It's a liquid creation in this session here. We're going to be focusing on fruit juices, vegetable juices, uh, nut milks, seed milks, and smoothies as well. Your fruit and vegetable smoothies. We're going to do a variety of melons. Uh, this is where you get the best flavor. What we do, it's easy to cut the melons by first cutting the ends off. And you want to get just to the red. Now, of course, you can juice the entire melon. But I'm not going to share that kind of experience with you. I want you to get the sugar out of these this time. So, you cut the ends off, stand it up, and you just cut it right down. Just like this, take your knife and go slowly. And go with the contour of the melon so you get as much of the white off. You're going to cut the melons to fit through your juicer. So we cut it, we cut it like this in half and then you just cut it to the size of your juicer. And then from here we're going to juice. Okay, so we're using two watermelons one of the, the, the uh, yellow uh, honeydew, one of the green honeydew, and one Crenshaw melon. I find it's, uh, to get a good flavor, it's best to mix. So we're just going to put, let's put it right here in the front. We're going to put our, our juice, that's the juice, right in here. We have this amount of pulp. And see, this is how wet it is. So what you do is you get your strainer and just strain it out. Just get a spoon and press this. Actually, we could, have, we could put the pulp back in and juice it again. You keep juicing it, juicing it till it gets dry. But otherwise, uh, you get a press bag. A nut milk bag and you put the pulp in there, you press it out. So you strain it and then you put it in the bag and press it out. Squeeze it out in the bag and you press it dry. So you actually now gonna become the manual hydraulic press. So just twist it, twist, 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 and tighten down and press, press, press. And this is what we gotta do to get all the juice out. You can press it down really tight and get all of that out. We're gonna go ahead and serve our juice here. So we're doing the, uh, the, the, the pineapple strawberry juice. Uh, ideally you want to be in a place where ripe pineapples are golden. They're yellow, they're bright, they got that sunshine reflection in them. Otherwise, you got to put them to the test to see if they're ripe, if they're green. And that test is pulling one of the leaves out of the center. And if it comes out easy, now it seems like these were pulled out already. But if it comes out easy, it's ripe. So you just cut the minimal amount of the skin off. And you want to cut the pineapple down in four. And then we cut it in small pieces to fit into our juicer. Get rid of those eyes, and then you take the core out. Another different thing you could have done is just juice the pineapple, and then put the pineapple juice in the blender with the strawberries, and blend the strawberry with the pineapple juice. Then you only use your strainer to get the seeds from the strawberry out. So we strain our coconut water and that goes into the blender with the strawberries. So we blend that. So we bring the, bring the blended juice here and we're gonna pour it through the strainer. So that's the strawberry just with the coconut water. Open it up, 
and clear all of this pulp out. We're going to filter this. Even though it was run through the strainer, there's still fiber in here. And also, uh, there is a... Uh, this gets rid of the foam. Now let's go ahead and add all of this together. Let's put it in this bowl. It's this one better. And then we can start serving. So put them, put them in the pitcher and bring it around to you. What we're going to do actually, we'll just do the smoothie at this point. Uh, the best flavor is to mix different apples, like we mix the, the melons. So we're going to mix, uh, we've got uh, Granny Smith. We've got four Granny Smith apples. We've got the Fuji, Fuji apples here. And the Rome. So you want to cut them to fit through your juicer. For this champion juicer, you cut them in six. So you peel your mango with a small paring knife, small six inch paring knife. And you want to cut it off of this, off the pit. So you go right to the pit and carve it. You go in and out, saw motion, and you're pressing down on the pit at all times. The mangoes are not going to be juiced. They're just going to be blended in the blender. So we have our mango juice and our apple, mango pulp and apple juice. So Let's empty some out of the bowl into this with the, with the juice and we're going to put a couple of bananas and this is what makes it smoothie is adding bananas to our mix here. So we're going to add two bananas to our blend. That's good. We just add the bananas right to the blender. And we go ahead and blend that up. Okay, so this is ready to serve. So we're going to give them about a third of a cup or less so we can have enough for everyone. So someone is going to come around and serve it to you. The ones that we're using are the whole sesame seeds. The shell has been taken off. The, the unhulled sesame seeds said to have a bitter flavor. So it's better to, to use the hulled one if you want to have a neutral flavored tasting milk. We're going to sweeten with dates. Dates are your best sweetener. They're 100% sugar. They're your best flavor. These are the, the uh, medjool dates. We're going to use 3 to 1 the amount of seeds to water. So we're going to put, we're going to use 2 cups of sesame seeds for 6 cups of water. We're going to use some vanilla and nutmeg. And we're using uh, the ground nutmeg. Measure out two cups of the sesame seeds and you add it right to the blender and blend it. Turn it to high speed. Let's strain it first. Pour this in the cloth. And we're going to press it out. So we're going to go ahead and put the two bananas in our blender. One teaspoon of nutmeg for one gallon of liquid. And let's put some vanilla in here. Let's put two teaspoons of vanilla. There's our vanilla extract here. What we want to do is, is strain out the, 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 the dates. So we run it through the strainer. We're going to put another cup of dates. So it's going to be two cups of dates. Two cups of dates. And we're going to add more bananas. The flavor of this, this particular sesame is a little strong, so we want to bring it a little bit more in line with a sweeter vibration, so that the, soup, the sweetness from the banana, the sweetness from the other cup of date should level, level that flavor out. So we're going to add a half a cup of cacao powder into the blender. Let's put it, put it in here. You want some? Yeah, I know she did. No, we're fine. We're ready to serve this now. For the vegetable juice, we have K 
carrot over here. Uh, you're going to work over here fine over with the cucumber. We're going to get uh, six cucumbers. Uh, we're going to use the entire cucumber so you're not cutting anything cut off. We're going to also add some celery to this mix. We're going to add two Granny Smith apples to our mix. And then also we want to use a green leaf as well. So we're going to use collards. In this case, we're going to use a half a bunch of collards. With the celery, you use the leaves and all. The leaves are the most important part of the celery, but that's where the most chlorophyll is. And let's bring it over here and you can start juicing. We cut a half a bunch of celery, six cucumber, three large carrots, and we're going to cut two apples. And also, we're going to add a piece of ginger to this. See how much juice you got out of here? A cup of juice. Yeah, you want to just pour that right in here. And you keep pressing. That's good. That's fine right there. We get the bag washed out. And let's go ahead and serve our vegetable juice. So who's at the serving pitcher? And just go ahead. Sorry. Put the juice in the pitcher and serve out. This is what you drink vegetable juice for. You want the minerals, you want the iron, the calcium, you want the chlorophyll. You don't need the bulk. This is what you need. So press it out, get rid of the bulk, because your body's going to have to do this. Otherwise, you're going to get bulked up on raw food. Like, oh man, she don't look like she's eating raw food. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to our next recipe here. And the next recipe is going to be our almond milk. If you use coconut water, you don't have to sweep. So that's what we're going to do uh, with this batch here. This is coconut water. We add the two cups of almonds to our blender. We assemble and we get the rest. The almonds are soaked for 12 hours. Drain and rinse. Okay, now we have our almonds that are blended with the coconut water. Go ahead and blend. We got our, our almond that we put in with, this is the last of the third press of the same two cups of almonds. The last thing we're going to have is our milk and guess what? The milk is ready. <laughs> Nothing else added. Just coconut water and almonds. You want to taste real plain, straight up milk. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy this and we'll call this a session. So we'll see you back here at 3 o'clock. And thank you so much. Thank you.